What's up everyone, it's Tim from Tim Plays Game here with Steins Gate Elite for Nintendo Switch. Uh, last time John Tyler was telling us about the year about the world of 2036, it's governed by Snern. Uh, who cares? So let's see, we're moving on to the discussion. Uh, more spam. Here we go. That would make you not know better than Titer. If you're willing. Oh, this is a response to this one right here. I knew you were. I knew you were a terrorist. How many of you murdered? What if my kids are among them? Maybe I really should kill your father. To protect the future. Yeah, that would make you know better than Titer. If you're willing to face the consequences, then go right ahead. Titer, question: Did World War Three uh, take place as scheduled? Why did you come to this particular time? Did you find an IBM 5100? Dang, you're just going right into it, head first. <laughs> As I've uh, explained previously, my purpose for traveling to this era is to change the future. Posting on this forum is my way of sounding an alarm. While it may be meaningless after the world lines converge, I just need to get the information out there. Uh, what do you mean by World War III? Is there something I said in another world line? I'd like to speak with you more. If you can send me an email, I'll be sure to reply. I'm happy to accept emails from people other other than Ho than Hoian too. As long as they are ser- I keep, I keep pronouncing that wrong, it's ho o in ho o in too, as long as they are uh, as, as serious inquiries. I will post my email address here again, John Titer uh, at eggweb.ne.jp. Don't ever post your email address online unless you want to get spammed. Okay, well that's the end of that. You can get back to the actual story now. July 31st, 821. My discussion with John Titer my my discussions with John Titer weren't making any sense. Yeah, like a more anonymous stuff. Titer, LOL, time traveler from 30, 2036, LOL. CERN takes over the world, LOL. <laughs> Not even Titer himself seems to know about the Titer from the 10 years ago. <laughs> Hoenn needs to shut the needs to shut up, LOL. I never heard of any tighter from ten years ago, lol. It's hard to imagine that everyone on that channel is conspiring against me. <laughs> and so that, well, it's not really so much they're conspiring against you, they just don't know what you're talking about. But how else can I explain it? With proof, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Out of options, I decided to email Tyler directly, just as he told me to. He, aud he audaciously exposed his own address on that channel. I guess that's his way of saying, bring it on. Bold move. My email. I question the the differences between his post now and his post ten years ago. Current uh, Titer hasn't even acknowledged the latter. Sorry for the sudden mail. In 2015, World War III breaks out. Many people die. By 2036, there's a new there, the world is a nuclear wasteland. John Titer travels 1975 to obtain the IBM 5100. The IBM 5100 was necessary to re to revive technology lost in World War III. The IBM 5100 has a hidden function, the ability to read IBM's proprietary computer and language, which, pe which predates APL and BASIC. But only certain IBM engineers are aware that the function of the function, so it does not appear in the manual. In 1998, Titer meets his younger self and, and his parents in America. <laughs> John Titer has a soldier who volunteered for this mission. John Titer is an American. Furthermore, in 2000, Titer correctly predicted the outcomes of some future events. The, Pervo the Peruvian Coast earthquake in 2001, the election of, the new, of a new pope, the outbreak of the Iraq War, China's advances in space, and so forth. Though he only talked vaguely about each one, they all came true. On the other hand, other predictions were unfulfilled. For example, the Y2K bug, civil war in America, the cancellation of the Beijing Olympics, the inauguration of America's female, first female president in 2009. Yeah, that didn't happen, and so forth. <laughs> There's more, but let's leave those aside for now. I decided to ask him uh, why those predictions didn't come true. All right, let's send it now. So I guess uh, Hillary's supposed to win in 2009. <laughs> 
<laughs> Whoops. This is your le uh, litmus test, John Titer. Show me your true colors. Okay. Oh, we got mail. It's from Skyclad 2010. Okay, this is the main. This is Amine Suzaha. First email. Thanks for exchanging addresses with me yesterday. I finally made a friend here. Yay. Don't worry, I won't email you too much, and I might be slow to reply to. I'm kind of new at this email thing. <laughs> this email thing. How exactly is she new at this? I mean, okay, whatever. Um. That wasn't that was an exchange. You took my address by force. I had no choice but to submit. Good morning. What are you doing here so early? Well, I heard you guys had stayed up with two night up two nights in a row, so I brought some goodies. Excellent. Good job. It was really into it was it wasn't really two nights in a row thanks to my afternoon nap yesterday, but who's counting? <laughs> Ta da! Kando Den! It's a present from Mayushi. I didn't read, the, I didn't read that said. The, the 270 yen each, so savor it, okay? I've been getting tired of eating bananas and chicken lately, but these are instead, of, these are instead from now on. But Mayushi doesn't have enough pocket money to splurge like this all the time. And maybe she loves bananas and chicken, so I'll keep so she'll keep buying them. But wait, there's more. Ta-da! <laughs> Rainet sausage it comes with an Upa bottle cap as a bonus. I really wanted it, so I bought it. <laughs> Something tells me that in a few months, the time in a few months' time, this lab will be neck deep in Upa goods. <laughs> There are only a few things right now, like the cushion on the sofa, but that number is sure to grow exponentially. <laughs> so how's Daruken? He's in the midst of a hard fight. He should at least rest a little. I mean, I never said he I never said he had to do it all at once. Daruken, super hacker. It's not hacker, it's hacker, you dumbass. Damn. <laughs> he sure is tense. <laughs> you think? You and I evacuate to the rooftop to eat the Odin. But isn't hacking bad? Maybe she doesn't want to do bad things. I would be a fool to let Daru super hacker, I mean hacker skills go to waste. Incidentally, it looks like hackers hijacked CERN's system back in 2008. We found news articles about it online. <laughs> Goodle. <laughs> that means that every that that even the invention inventors of the World Wide Web have holes in their security. You'd think they wouldn't, but yeah. With his skills, Daru should be able, should have no trouble getting through. He's been up for 68 hours, but that doesn't count as trouble. <laughs> Besides, we're doing this to expose certain wrongdoings. This is a war against the dark forces that secretly rule the world. Bad things are bad. <laughs> really? This just in. Bad things are bad. I need to change the subject. <laughs> Mayuri, Mayuri you want to trade my sweet potato for your beef? <laughs> uh, if you want to trade, I'd rather, you, I'd rather have your quail egg. Don't be ridiculous. Next to beef, quail eggs are my favorite. But Mayuri likes quail eggs too. Settle for my chihuahua. My chihuahua. Mm, okay, chihuahua is better than sweet potatoes. Subject change complete. Mayuri really eats up conversations about food. It's so easy to manipulate her. <laughs> Manipulating dumb people is hilarious. Soon, if I can just get to the, uh, the, SQ the SQL table, I'll have more than enough passwords. <laughs> You're no match for me. <laughs> Looks like things are falling into place. Oh <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes. <laughs> you can't hide from me, you naughty thing. You, how does it feel to be naked? 
Ooh. Oh Let's yes, go. yes. The matching ID the and password. Login complete. Hell yeah. No, Taste it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. He's having way too much fun. <laughs> what enthusiasm. Did you get it? Mission complete. Mission complete. Really? It's amazing that they hacked into a major a major lab like that. Wow, that's amazing. I don't really get it though. <laughs> So, did you find out a way that, kind of how they're planning to destroy the world? Yeah, I haven't looked yet, man. All I did was get us connected. But it's all downhill from here. I'm sorry if you were, if you're tired, but please start checking. Key, the keys to this conspiracy have got to be in there. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Guru dances his mouse across the screen and continues hacking into CERN. Question is, who's pa who this password belongs to? Why is that? I went into CERN's database and got a, da got a data table from there. I focused on people with simple passwords like 11, like 1111111 and ABCDFGH. Get my hands on an ID. I'd be, I'd be, it'd be awesome if that tur turns out to be the server admins log on, but I don't think there's that. I don't think we're that lucky. In Japanese, please. <laughs> Same. Basically, if this is the server admin's password, we can taste every inch of CERN's luscious, luscious flesh. But if that's just an ordinary research password, then we can only see CERN's boobs. <laughs> Darukan, that's naughty. <laughs> With the erotic examples. Basically, you know, there will be limits to what information we can access. Exactly. Anyway, it's only a matter of time before I get a server admin's password. Let's save that for later. I'm really sleepy now. It'd be cruel to push through any further. Oh, ho, looks like our ID belongs to an accelerator division chief. So it's not a server admin? It would take a miracle to get one of those on our first try. How many staff members do you think CERN has? How many? Three? Over 6,000. <laughs> that many. Well, for now, let's look at the Accelerator Division Chief. Uh, his name is... Jack. Jack. Let's look at this is his email log. And of course, the emails come up in English. Oh no, that makes me Yushi's head hurt. Yeah, <laughs> it's pathetic to flinch at the mere sight of English. Daru, what does that say? Need to translate it. This is a job for Dr. Excite. What is Dr. Excite? Hold on. Let's see, tip list. Machine translation site. Okay. Nah, I've got a better idea. Looks like a New Year's greeting. Something about on, going on vacation in Spain. In Spain. Lucky bastard. <laughs> that email is normal. Nothing out of the ordinary. We, if we keep scouring the log like this, we can also identify the server manager. You know, looking through someone else's email without permission makes me feel really guilty. I abandoned guilt when I chose the path of evil long ago. <laughs> Wait, who's evil? Is he evil or is CERN evil? Or are they both evil? Let the responsibility be mine. I will not ask you to answer, my cr answer for my crimes. What a guy. I'd let Okuri do me in the butt. <laughs> yeah, you would. Yeah, you wish you could. <laughs> I decline your offer. <laughs> Hard pass, bro. <laughs> now get peeking, Daru. Er, Okarine, you're bad. Make Mary she sad. <laughs> that's no that's that's of no concern to me. <laughs> Upon further examination, we discover several emails with the title Experiment Reports. LHC Experiment Reports. That could be a hint about time machines in there. We should try reading them. We should. This is definitely a crime, though. That's what his lips say, but his hand still clicks on the email. <laughs> what comes up with an unintelligible series of symbols. Yeah, that's, uh... It's encrypted, yeah, that's, uh, I keep, I keep, uh, I, 
I try to think of the word and then it comes up right when I it's on the tip of my tongue. How courage is that? Uh, of course, it's uh, it isn't that simple. Oh, cracking this should be a piece of cake. In less than 10 minutes, Daruo has decoded the email. Let's see here. Hi, Paul. Hi, <laughs> Paul. It's acting completely unnecessary. The acting is completely unnecessary. Ah. Uploaded, uploaded today's data to the server. The LHC is performing admir admirably. Can't say the same thing about the same about the rest, though. This baby's fickle as a cat, but it was surprisingly obedient. This month. It'd be great if it stayed like this forever. But don't you think this this work is unrewarding? This kitten, this two, this 27 kilometer long kitten, <laughs> has been in operation for nine years. Our research will change the, the course of history. Yet only a small group of people are allowed to see it. Okay, that's weird, because, uh, of course, if it were uh, ever officially released, it would be one hell of a scandal. People would probably say something like, call Robert Zemeckis <laughs> to CERN right away. He could build it in less than a year. <laughs> Nine years. This is what's... Yeah, calm down. Let's sort things out. Do you think there were any translation errors in that email? You trust the translation software, then that's what it says. The Japanese is strange in places, though. But that doesn't make sense. Right, because they said, uh... See, I thought the LHC was only, was only put into operation about... Operation around spring last year. But this email makes it sound like it's been operation for nine years. That is strange. The email send send date uh, is this year, 2010. So nine years ago makes it 2001. Oh wow! John Terry posted on this channel on this on the ad channel yesterday. Sounds like you're largely indifferent to the fact that the time is not a one-way street. This proves that most of you are still clear. Yeah, we've already uh, done this. The only the only other thing that I, I can say is that you mu is that you must not believe their lies. They've already succeeded in creating a micro black holes. Ooh. If you read between the lines of, the, of this email, it sounds like they're doing some sort of secret experiment. Also, Robert Zemeckis is a super famous Hollywood. I know who he is. Zemeckis. He directed a trilogy. I know about the trilogy of movies. That's my favorite series of movies. Back to the Future. He discredited a trilogy of Smash. He he oh, he directed a trilogy of Smash Hit movie. Of hit ah, I cannot talk today. He directed a trilogy of smash hit time travel movies about 20 years ago. I groan. <laughs> no way was I right. CERN's hiding a major secret from the world. And it's related to time travel. Keep looking, Daru. Search for anything related to time machine research. Seriously? I don't know if Daru is questioning my order or the possibility that CERN might be researching time travel. Either way, he begins tapping on the keyboard again. There aren't any emails with that phrase "time machine" in them. The phrase "Z program" was used was used hundreds of times in the past few months. What is the Z program? We're gonna find out next time, guys. So that's gonna wrap things up for tonight's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to Tim Plays Game, stay tuned for more Steins Gate Elite videos. This is getting interesting now. Uh, Till next time, this is Tim from Tim Plays Game signing off, and have a good night, guys.